Hey guys, what's up? It's Kevin from The Game Room, and this video today is going to be how to use your Dazzle for Windows on Mac. And, uh, you know, my eyesight isn't set up, so I can't show you right now, but this is the actual Mac. It's the Pinnacle DVC. Dazzle DVC 100, um, the white one. It's got, like, the four-foot cable. It specifically says for Windows on it, and, uh, I'll show you guys today how to get it working on Mac. You're not going to be using the same Pinnacle software, which is Pinnacle Studio 12 or Instant DVD Recorder. Not going to be using that. That's only compatible with Windows. Or you're going to have to go out and buy your Dazzle for a Mac with your software, which is about $90. So, it's just the easier way. Um, I don't care how you get the software. Uh, I'll give you the link for the trial. But you're not going to be able to record, so I don't see a point to it. But what you're going to need is it's called Video Glide Capture. Right here, um, open it up. So you'll download it, you'll install it, and it'll give you up this menu. Um, minimize that. It'll give you up this menu right away. So digitizers, which are the different inputs. You got the built-in eyesight. You got Manny Cam or any other kind of video inputs you have. Um, I'm using it's if you're using your Dazzle for window for Windows, it's gonna be under Video Guide and to show you this works. My sound wires aren't plugged in because I don't feel like it, but, um, right now I'll go to the dashboard, I'll move it around, you can see that it works, um, yeah, it's, it works, so, quickly, I'm going to show you some settings, the settings I use at least, because it's, the file, when you first do it, it's very, very, like, a minute video could be 4 gigs because of the how high the quality is. So what I found it to do is, I'll, you just start off on compression, just put it to photo, JPEG, then do it to 29.97 frames per second, um, and then put it to best def, and then quality, apps, absolute best, and you hit preview, you do compressed, and it should just show two there. Auto adjustments, uh, just pause the video for the thing, just go 50, 50, 60.2, 50, video glide 100, should be about 1, 0, and source. Um, there's not really any audio settings, except that, off our recording volume, do the, yeah, it should just be, default whatever you want. And then yeah, that's pretty much it. You can like change the size that you want it to be. The screen here. You can record a time lapse, you can record set in time or you can just record. So thank you. Uh please subscribe, rate and comment. There's gonna be a lot more tutorials out for the Mac. Cause I'm fooling around with ScreenFlow actually if you don't know what that is, it's a screen recording software for Mac. Um yeah, so thank you. Please subscribe, rate, and comment.